uh, Mallory has brought out the Firestorm ignition. Now, is this also, uh, will this run the engine itself completely? The, no, the this, computer? no or the, this works with the computer. Okay. This is, if you want to buy a late model engine, like you go down and get an LS9 or a newer GM engine, you take it out and put it in your dragster or hot rod, this would fire it. This is not to put on an OEM car off the showroom plug and play. This is for the newest engine, but working with firing mechanism. Good. Firestorm is actually an ignition system. We have an LS, we have what's called a single channel CD and a multi channel CD. Uh, these will uh, fire conventional type coils, of course, and the LS will fire a uh, smart coil. This is also capable of firing an LS and CD. That's the swap coils, that's all, because the uh, software can read a 58x or a 24x uh, crank trigger, basically, uh, from General Motors. Uh, speed version uh, ver uh, versus Pro, so we offer both in both boxes. Uh, basically, more bells and whistles in the Pro, and of course, uh, the, the basics for the speed version. So it can be fired on the crank trigger or on a distributor yeah. trigger? This one here, this particular distributor, or what we call a crank cam sensor assembly, this here, we convert a small block Chevy, big block Chevy, small block Ford uh, 302 or 351 into a coil on plug application. Uh, this here is a 36 minus one crank trigger. And this we can use on anything really, including a single coil application. A 10,000 RPM utilizing this wheel, you're plus or minus a tenth of a degree of timing. So whether you're at idle or at 10 grand, you're there. You don't need a high speed retard to help pull the timing back because the engine is screaming down the you know, down the quarter mile uh, with a, a, a insufficient type of uh, box. So, of course, the advantage is it's crank triggers. We don't have the timing chain flutter. Right. We don't have the cam gear flutter and the exactly. rotor flopping all when over you, the place. When you check, when you, with this running on an engine, if you set to the timing like you're setting the timing, it's steady as steady can be. It doesn't matter where you're at in the RPM range. Right. It fires according to the piston position, not the right. distributor rotor yeah. position. Yep. If you utilize this, in a uh, coil on plug application, including of course the cam sensor. If the cam sensor ever fails, where it loses where number one is, it will convert instantly. The box has programming to convert the motor into a waste part, so you can keep driving. You will never even know it failed except the check engine light will flash. Now will the computer have programming in it uh, to simulate a vacuum advance uh, situation? Yes, it's a 3D timing table. So as load increases, we either pull that timing depending where the throttle is. It's all in the software. See, I see a lot of guys have overheating problems with their engine. They don't understand that the vacuum advance will pull the timing up and cool the motor down. It's a right. lost art because they think, oh, I'm going to have a drag race engine with no vacuum advance on the right. freeway. And they run the engine dead retarded, not understanding why their engine's overheating. This system has inputs and output connectors. One of the things we can do is we can literally have sensors on these motors. This system can be sensor driven. So if your coolant temp sensor, of course sensing the coolant sees that you're going up to 25, 230 degrees, you can go in there and tell it whether to add or pull timing out. Same thing in the air inlet. Guy's got a supercharger, a turbo, his air temperature is going up, skyrocket, 170, 180 degrees. He can pull timing out, prevent the engine from detonating. Fantastic. Yeah, that sounds great. So uh, uh, that's built in. Now the customer can dial in his own programs? Yes. All right. Sounds like an exciting product. It is. Very exciting. There's nothing like it in the market, and uh, we're going to leapfrog every competitor that's out there. I like it.